Today, we're going to talk about the breakup between Jacqueline Glenn and Social Repose, or as he's more commonly known, that goth YouTube geisha. We see breakups on YouTube uh, all the time. Uh, we have uh, Sniper Wolf and Sausage, uh, Jess and Gina, Adapt and Adriana, uh, Sausage and Sniper Wolf, uh, they basically break up every 15 days. But this time there is no doubt of uh, who the bad one uh, is. I have so many emotions. I'm disappointed at Richard, I'm sorry for Jacqueline, and I'm angry at uh, Tampax uh, for just being himself. So today I will not contain myself. But Since respect is something some people don't value, so why should I? This time I'm gonna be a little bit more brutal in my commentary for some good reasons. So I wanna apologize in advance. Let's start with Tampax. Richard, Richard, Richard. Do you know what you've done? You know, the thing that pisses me off the most personally is that you have proven right this piece of shit. Gregory, you're still a sociopath, so don't, don't get all excited saying things like I win, I win, I was right, they're bad people, social repose and Jacqueline are so bad people, I'm not. Actually, you are, and it's coming for you, so shut up for a second, this is not about you. You see, this is the thing that pisses me off the most about you, is that you ain't gone on these things uh, only to make yourself look cool. And since she's a YouTuber herself, I will not feel bad saying Tammy. You are such a failure. Yes, I think we should all start thanking your mother for giving us you. Because obviously, Gregory, you cannot go beyond the superficial understanding. These are the things parents should teach their kids, being compassionate when other people are suffering. And again, you failed. You ran a 30-minute live stream saying, I win, I win, I was so right, they are so wrong. Not even realizing that by saying that, you failed as a human being. Baby, since your mother has failed, uh, since she's failed uh, to raise a decent human being, I'll tell you what's going on. Uh, Jacqueline is in pain. Her boyfriend cheated on her. So this is not a time for you to say anything mean. And no one owns you an apology, you psychopath. Uh, you, you just invaded this story like a virus because this is what you are. You infected this story with your arrogance and uh, injected more negativity into something you have no business in. And it kind of makes sense. I shouldn't even be surprised anymore because you are so out of touch with reality. You always got the worst decision. YouTube or school? Begging kids for money. Selling the car or making a good long-term career plan? Begging kids for money. Lanybot or... Oh, that's gonna be for another video. Now, let's talk about Richard. Richard, the worst thing about this child is that because of you, we will hear him saying the same exactly thing at uh, Eugenia Cooney's funeral. Because it seems these are the only two things he's living for. This is the guy that doesn't even call his children children. He says, people I'm parenting. He makes everything about himself. So yes, you fucked up on so many levels. Look, people are already comparing you to Tampax and not being as bad as him is a low bar to clear. You see, here I talk about people. I don't talk about breakups. But after receiving so many requests from my followers and uh, after watching Jacqueline's video, I decided that I wanted to say a little bit more than just this tweet. Look, I'm gonna be 100% honest here. I cannot call you a monster because uh, I did cheat too when I was younger. Now I wouldn't do it, not because I'm a better person, but because I'm more aware of people's feelings. And it takes time to understand that. So it would be unfair for me to say, oh, you're a monster, fuck you. But Jacqueline was devastated to, to learn that ugly truth. And just like the movie The Ugly Truth, it wouldn't be best for everyone if that never happened. I watched your video a few times and while I was watching it, um, I could only think. Have we watched the same video? Is there another video Jacqueline published that I haven't watched? Maybe one where she says that your penis is this huge, she hates your mother, and every time you're 69, she could smell your ass? I don't know, I'm just asking. Do you wipe properly? Hygiene is important. Maybe you feel nothing for her because um, every time before having sex, she ordered you to shower your ass twice. I don't know, I'm just speculating because I did not feel anything from your video. It seemed like you did not even feel sorry about it. I'm not saying you should have cried, but uh, I really felt nothing. Yes, okay, you cheated on her for uh, a whole year. You knew that was uh, what you wanted to do. And that's fine, you like playing with people. But spare us all that crap, like uh, you didn't want to have this public you have a million followers. What did you expect? No one would have noticed anything? If you'd come out with her, people would have noticed the difference. That's not Jacqueline. She's blonde. Of course this had to go public. Jacqueline was in love with you and now she's devastated. You run huge channels on YouTube and now you and your feathers are on tour. People know everything about you. Have you forgotten about that? And laying the blame on depression is as bad as him. He does that. I watched Jacqueline's video like anyone else out there. And that was bad. Not because she's a woman and women should never cry. I'm not talking about that. 
she loved you. And I was surprised about that. You know, I personally never believed you two were really into each other. From here, from the outside, we believe whatever we perceive. And I never felt that. Uh, so today when I watched her video, I was like, crap, she was really in love with him. In her video, I could feel pathos. And then I understood why I never felt like you were into each other because of you. Maybe it's me right now making things up. Or maybe it's because I'm a man and like you, I did two stupid things. But I have the impression to remember that I've never seen that the spark in your eyes. At the beginning of your video, you said that there are two sides of every story. And that's true. But that usually happens when two people have an argument uh, over things they cannot agree on. And they both accuse each other of starting the fight. But here, this story is actually pretty simple to understand. You cheated on her. That was not a mistake. You did your plans and uh, you lied all the times. You see, you mess up when uh, you usually kiss someone else, um, like an ex. You are there talking about the past, the frequencies of your blood is there in between your legs, your brain cannot receive enough oxygen and uh, you have a case of uh, brain hypoxia, then you cannot think straight anymore, your, your scrotum is about to explode, which is never your scrotum, it's actually always about uh, in your bladder area, that's what it hurts, right? And bang, you kiss each other. And then you both realize that that was a mistake. But dude, we are both men. I know why you did it. You are horny and you don't give a fuck about Jacqueline. And at the end, this is what it is. So let's not pretend you have a sex problem. You are a moron. You did your best not to get caught until you got caught. And now you're sorry because you got caught. Otherwise you would have stopped nine months ago. But you never did because you never felt sorry. You enjoyed doing that. That's what you wanted. So don't give us that crap. Men? Me, me as well. When we say, oh, I'm a sex addict, man, that's something we brag about because we're idiots. We value our penis more than anything else. I think people should not overrate your sex drive. I, I don't want to give you that. I don't think you have any problem. I just, I just think you are disrespectful. It seems like you're trying to Jedi mind trick uh, your, your responsibilities out of existence. You know, we had a talk that about my depression and how I should get may, maybe get medicated. Um, I also don't agree with that. I think the best solution to to make sure I don't do this again and I don't hurt anyone else is to just not date anymore, not for a long time. I can't be in relationships just because I just um, I can't do it and clearly I, I don't have the restraint for it. Maybe I have a sex problem. I don't know. I... You are talking to your audience like a man whose wife just walked in on him wearing her dress. Uh, this is not me. This is not what it looks like. I have a mental problem. I fell into it. And then you said Jacqueline revealed brutal and graphic details. Dude, that's what you did. She just explained what you did. She didn't explain, for example, the, the consistency of your sperm eating your girlfriend's tonsils. You see, that's brutal. Now, the most depressing thing to me is when she said um, um, he asked her for nudes. She sent him the nudes and uh, that's burned into my mind forever. I can relate to that. Um, because whatever you see is always the hardest thing to, to, to forget. And I'm so sorry for her. I get it. You want to have multiple girls. You don't want to go through this again. You don't want to be exposed again. I get that. But you are 27. You're not You're not 17 anymore. And I cannot compare you to, to him. He is not mentally able to understand anything. You are just disrespectful. But you can understand, I think. And of course, she wanted to settle down. She was in love. You got into a relationship with her. You're not 17 anymore. You should have expected that. So don't tell us there was unbalance in our relationship. Dude, I'm a man. I know what you mean with that. That means that you just want to soak your biscuit into different cups. But the more you soak it, the softer it becomes. And sooner or later, it will break. And about that, Jacqueline, you should have an STD test. Just in case. You said that you don't know how many partners he had, so... You should. There's only there's only one thing I liked about your video is that when you said uh, I decided to be a child, she wants to be an adult. And I respect that so much. That's a nice thing to say. And that's probably the most credible thing you said in your video. And it takes guts to say that because, uh, you know, it's 
it's a nice thing to say. I, I believe, I think it's a nice thing to say. But that's only three seconds out of 10 minutes. You're losing subscribers now. How many have you lost so far? 15,000? It won't last long. People are idiots. They will um, forget the day after tomorrow and come back. But I hope you will have a diarrhea attack on stage and that footage will trend. But apart from that, I think you're just an average guy. And that's not a compliment, by the way. Being average in your position with uh, 1 million followers and yet being unable to understand people's feelings, it's bad. You should be better than that. You should be better than this child. Because right now your video is more like two girls in a cup in terms of uh, the amount of shit passing through you and how nauseating watching it really is. You're not 17 anymore. You're nearly 30. You act like a rock star. You're not. Your actions still hurt people. So get off the fucking throne you've built and live like a normal person. Stop hurting people. Stop playing with people.